Well, I, I would. Were you happy with tonight's turnout and the way everything went? Well, you know, I think my opponent's uh, you know, side brought out some uh, loud uh, kind of uh, loud voices uh, against the, uh, the rules that were set out from the beginning. So obviously, but you know, I thought the issues were fair. Uh, I thought the questions were fair, uh, and I was happy to uh, have the dialogue. I just wish we, we didn't have some of the distractions from the audience. It wasn't quite as bad as the one in Kew Garden Hills, but it, it certainly could have done better without some of the audience reaction. Okay, and the Tea Party, do you, people, somebody was mumbling in the back, oh, Mr. Weprin hates Tea Party people. I'm a do coffee you, drinker myself. <laughs> do you hate the quote-unquote Tea Party? Like, what do you mean when you, when you keep on referencing the Tea well, Party? There's a certain conservative element within the Republican Party, and particularly most recently in the Republican Party in the House, that not only held the country hostage, held their own party hostage. They were the, the group of uh, new members that were so-called Tea Party members that were elected uh, just a year and a half ago, uh, or a year ago, uh, that advocated uh, for certain extreme positions, uh, did not want any taxes under any circumstances, uh, just wanted to cut, 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 uh, and not necessarily reasonable cuts, but cuts that would impact major areas and major programs like right here in Brooklyn and in Queens. Uh, and that is a, an element of the Republican Party, the leaders of that element, my opponent has said on many occasions that he admires. So that's what I meant. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks.